Hey everybody, this is Eric Warren. Welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. And today I want to talk about something I was reminded of earlier this morning. And that is insider lingo to an outside world is not productive. And what triggered this thought is I saw a little training or a little getting started um, document that, uh, that uh, somebody had sent me. And on it, it said, what is your why? What is your why? Now, I know what they meant. And you probably know what they meant. But think about the prospect or the brand new person that hears, what is your why? All wise sounding. You might as well say, when is your how? Or what is your who? It's... It, it's insider lingo. It's using our language, upline, downline, sponsor. How many times do you use the word sponsor in the real world? Sponsor is used for Alcoholics Anonymous. They have a sponsor. It's used for immigration. They have a sponsor. When else is that used in the rest of the world? So you're going to sponsor someone. Eh. It's a little bit of insider lingo, in my opinion. I know some people are really in love with that word. But you, you know, what would somebody that's not involved in our profession say? That when they, instead of saying, what is your why? They'd say, why are you doing this? What are your reasons for starting a network marketing business? What's your motivation? You know, what, what are you looking to get out of this? They'd use real conversation, real language with a real person instead of this insider stuff. Instead of, you know, now you're going to go sponsor somebody. They go, what in the world? They might not say that, but they're thinking, what does that mean? You, we're going to involve some other people. We're going to recruit some other people. We're going to tell the story and help some people get started in their own business. So instead of upline and downline, you've got, you could talk about the organization that you're going to build versus your downline. You know what I'm saying? You're saying? When they become part of our community, then you can start using the insider lingo. But until they become part of the community, make sure that you're not using code words that are only known to us. This, you know, this secret network marketing language that's kind of only known to our circles. Make sure you're talking in language that the average person can understand, that they can relate to, that is a question that you would ask them if you're trying to get a similar answer in any profession. Okay? Use that. It's going to serve you well. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Because we have uplines and downlines and sponsors and whys and all kinds of really cool stuff. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.